Animal print is one of those classic prints like polka dots that will always be in style, always. Now, there are certain seasons that come along where it kind of feels a little bit tacky or not the right vibe, but depending how you style it, it'll always be a classic piece. So when I spotted this leopard print leggings at the thrift store, I knew I had to have it. And the fact that it smelled amazing. How many times have you been to Goodwill and you saw something cute, but it just smelled atrocious. It smelled like mold and you're just like, I'm never going to be able to take this stench out. These pair of leopard print leggings came equipped, honey, smelling like fresh lilacs. I was just like, easy decision. So I went ahead and got them. And I had a pencil skirt in mind that I wanted to remix. I'm creating a full collection of pencil skirts with unusual pairings. And this is one of the pieces that I'm modeling right now. So here we go with the leopard print leggings. These are plus size. I think they're about a 2, 3X. And the pants, the denim shorts that I have here, not pants, denim shorts, these are men denim shorts. So I believe they're like Levi size 38. Both two big pairs. And I love working with um, larger size articles of clothing when it comes to remixing. Because how I look at it is not only am I going to get one amazing piece out of this, but I'm going to get potentially even two pieces depending on the style and cut and how I rework it. So I um, always like to come across um, big and tall men and plus size women's uh, clothing that need the upcycle. I am freestyling here as I make this pencil skirt. I usually freestyle when I'm upcycling my own pieces, things that I wear, you know, that fit myself. But my um, huge collections that I make, uh, those I use, um, I get with uh, some sort of measuring system. Here is my family. That's my son, my adorable son, Lucas. I love him so, so much. You know, that's that's the vibe when you work at home. You know, sometimes you're getting interrupted and um, you just keep it moving. You Once you're in a creative vibe, you're in a creative flow, you got to keep it moving. You got to keep the rhythm moving. And oftentimes, you know, when I'm in the creating process, sometimes I, I kind of get a block and I tap my feet. I move my shoulders. I do these things because... That's what keeps the energy going. That's what keeps my vibe going. Once that rhythm is going, I'm still moving. I'm still working. I'm still figuring it all out. Part of the thing when you don't have your designs pre-planned, you don't have, you know, specs and tech sheets laid out is it's easy to just like be like, what was I trying to do? So dancing just helps me keep that rhythm going. If I had a song in my head when I was designing and I keep that song in my head when I'm cutting, some strange way I'm going to figure out what I was doing. So like there was always a, a music playing in my head, a song playing, something is like going on in there. There's there's a DJ in my head. There's a DJ. Um, so here I am back to cutting uh, the slugging. I know you're like, what's up with this yellow ball? Y'all saw this yellow ball in a previous video that I did, and it, it made its way into this one too. You know, my eyes don't notice these things. When you work from home, if you're one of those people that have to have the space a certain way in order to work, obviously it's going to be a lot more harder to get things done. And I've been working from home forever like since college like I've always worked from home so and I've had roommates while I'm working doing absurd things so you just get used to blocking things out things that are noise and also physical elements like this this yellow emoji ball so this whole time I'm shooting this video I, I'm not even aware that it's there so I know it looks like a prop but <laughs> you guys gotta believe me that it's it's not a part of the the vibes the vibrations at all 
So um, I'm thinking, I'm brainstorming, but I think I have it together. I stopped doing a lot of the sewing in my recent videos because my sewing room is just, ain't no light. Ain't no light right now. It's, 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 it's not functional. So you're getting the, um, the cutting, the drafting, the creatives, and of course the modeling. So here I am outside. This is right in front of our apartment. My awesome husband decided to film me. I appreciate it. By the way, this is how we met. I met my current husband while I was modeling. I was modeling a blog post and he came up to me like, where is your camera guy? I had my camera on a timer and now, now he's the camera guy. And sometimes he's just like, how did I get caught up in this? I'm like, you literally met me like this. You literally met me on the corner of the street modeling clothes that I made. So you knew what you were getting into. So here, this skirt is super comfortable, by the way. it um, That's why I'm doing all this movement in it, because I want people to know that you can live, play, and have fun in flywheel pieces. I make these things so they're functional. And thanks so much for watching my video, and I'll drop, be dropping another video soon. Bye.